You may have noticed the abundance of purple and gold ribbon hanging on the campus's trees. This is the beginning of the ongoing tradition that lives dearly in many golds and purples alike. College night, which first began in 1919, still lives on, and that was proof in the revealing of both sides' signs. Golds and purples gathered to share their hard work and their signs that give a sneak peek about what their upcoming show will be about. The two sides dedicate a month of their time to put on a musical and display their talents in selected events. The show is not the only thing Golds and Purples focus on. Students are also judged on spirit and athletic events that are broken down into points. Each side also designates leaders to act as the face of their represented side. We start in... August. August. Beginning of the much. summer. And we pick our cabinet. And that's really kind of the hardest part, yeah. I think. We just got to get the right people in the right places that we know will do their job. And whether it's a GV or a PV, it's not always about winning to the leaders. Honestly, we really want to win, but you know, who doesn't? But at the end of the day, I really feel like it doesn't really matter because it's always a PV for us, but this year you can like really feel it. Golds and Purples are preparing to perform their shows in Palmer the next couple of weeks, which always draws a crowd. Purples have won the last three college nights and are poised for a fourth win in a row. The Golds, on the other hand, are looking to reverse the streak and build one of their own. Time will tell in the coming weeks, but it appears it is shaping up to be another college night that will come down to the wire. For Falcon Weekly, this is Matt Chance reporting.